In this video, we're talking smart Wi-Fi LED light bulb. Hi guys, welcome to Switched On Network. I'm Paul FP, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking smart Wi-Fi LED light bulbs, just like this one here. Now, these are a great way to make your home that little bit smarter. You can use them with the Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. So you can say, for example, something like, okay, turn on the lights and this light bulb will come on. You can also control it from a mobile app. So you can set schedules, you can turn the brightness up and down, and you can do things like control it whilst you're away from home or set it to come on and off randomly, making it look like you're still at home. So whilst you're on holiday, your house will be that little bit safer. Now, if it's something other than a light that you want to turn on, you can use a more generic item like this smart plug. And we've done a whole video on that. So if you just click the eye just up there, you can get straight to that video. But let's, uh, let's focus on this LED light bulb for now. We're gonna unbox it, get it set up, and then give it a test. Okay, so the one we're gonna be looking at is a TP-Link. It's the LB110, and you can find links in the video description for everything discussed in this video. It boasts very easy setup. It says step one is just download CASA for mobile. Step two, plug it in, and step three, just configure the app. One of the advantages of these ones is that they don't require a separate hub. You can literally just connect this straight to your home Wi-Fi. You don't need a separate box to connect to, so it's a little bit easier to set up, and it's a little bit cheaper. So that's why I went for the TP-Link one. So let's get this thing opened. Very big box for just one light bulb, but of course it's not just any old light bulb. It's a very clever light bulb. It's a light bulb with an instruction manual and with an FAQ. How many of your light bulbs that you've bought up till now in your life have had an FAQ? Here's the bulb, looks very nice. If you can say that about a bulb. So let's go and try this out. To fit the smart bulb, first turn off at your light switch and remove the old bulb, then insert the new one. For TP-Link smart devices, the app is called CASA with a K, so open up the Google Play Store and search for the app and then install it. The first time you open the app, you'll be prompted to log in or create an account if you've not got one yet, so quickly sign up for an account. You'll be emailed a link to verify your email address, so click that to proceed and then allow the app to access your device's location. Now that the app is set up, you'll be presented with an empty screen listing all your TP-Link smart devices. Click the plus sign in the top corner and select the type of device you're adding, so in this case it's a smart bulb of the LB100 series. The first thing it asks you to do is switch the bulb on and wait for it to flash three times like this. Once that's done, press next and the app will search for and find your bulb, so make sure you're stood right underneath it. When it's found and connected to it, you can give it a friendly name so you can keep track of it. This one's going in the hallway, so I'm going to call it, you've guessed it, hallway light. After choosing an icon for the device, the next step is to connect it to your Wi-Fi network. These models only work on 2.4 GHz networks, by the way. Enter your Wi-Fi password and then press next to connect, and you'll more than likely be told you need to update the firmware on your device, so let it do that, and then you're done. The device will appear in your list of devices from where you can turn it on and off, adjust its brightness, and do things like set a schedule. I'm going to be doing a follow-up video in the next few weeks about setting a schedule for when you go on holiday, so subscribe to the channel to see that when it's published. With the bulb and the app now set up, let's give it a test and turn it on and off using the app by pressing the green power button. If you press on the device name, it brings up an extra screen which acts as a dimmer switch, allowing you to turn the brightness of the bulb up and down too. Now that that's all working, let's have some fun and connect it to the Google Assistant so that we can control the lighting by voice via the Google Home Mini that I've got wall-mounted nearby in my kitchen. So, open up the Google Home app, and from the settings menu in the top left, go to Home Control. Under Devices, press the blue plus icon in the bottom right, and then from the list of supported manufacturers, scroll down until you see TP-Link CASA. Clicking that will open a web browser and prompt you to log into your CASA account and authorize the connection between that and your Google account. Type in your username and password, click Authorize, and then the Google Home app will connect behind the scenes to your CASA account and retrieve your devices. You should see a prompt saying that there's a device not yet assigned to a room, so then click Assign Rooms Now and choose which room the device is in, in this case, Hallway. Then press Done, and in your list of devices, under the TP-Link CASA section, you'll see your device. If you want, you can give it its own nickname within Google Home, but that's not strictly necessary, especially if you're going to be calling it the same thing here. With all that set up, you can now use voice commands to turn your lights on and off, like this. Hey, good turn on the hallway light. Hey, turning the hallway light off. Hey, good turn off the hallway light. Sure, turn off 
So there we are, hope you found that video helpful. If you have done, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not done already, subscribe to the Switched On Network to get all of our videos as soon as they go live, straight to your inbox. Click the logo that's just there to subscribe now. And once you've done that, if you wanna watch our video on how to install and set up a smart Wi-Fi plug, then click the video that's just there for that one. And if you've got a Google Home Mini and you want to wall mount it, click the video that's just up there to see how to do that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.